guys, Amy here with Plans Meet Paper, and today I wanted to give you just a quick look at my 2021 planner setup. So I'm just going to give you kind of a broad overview today, and then I'll probably do future videos where I will go into more detail on my calendar section and my reference section and so on and so forth. So. Uh, to start off, I in my pockets, this is a Moterm personal size planner in the color gray. And in this front pocket, I just have a an, an spare piece of scrapbook paper that matches my dashboard. And on the back of that, I just have my monthly review tasks. So these are the things that I need to refer to whenever I'm planning my month throughout the year. So it's just kind of reminders about different recurring events and um, different types of lists that I want to check when I'm writing my to-do list. So that is just handy to have up here in the front. And I may in the future make a weekly review or a daily review card as well. But for now, I just have the monthly one. And then I also have some sticky notes and page flags that I plan to use in January. Um, you'll see throughout my planner, I do tend to keep it really simple and minimal. I don't use a lot of decorations or stickers or anything, but I do sometimes use sticky notes and page flags. And if I happen to have some that match the highlighter color that I'm using for that month, then I will pull those out and use them just to have everything correspond. So that's what I've got going for January is this kind of light blue color. And then I also have some scrap paper here in this front pocket just clipped together with an Ollie clip. This scrap paper is actually the middle section when I print my inserts. Um, there's a spare piece of paper in the middle and I use it for to-do lists and grocery lists and all sorts of stuff. So I just keep it up there in the front pocket. Um, one nice thing this year, you'll see uh, I am kind of on a dot grid kick. Almost all of my inserts through my planner have dot grid on them somewhere. And uh, so I'm really enjoying that. And so since I use these middle sections so much, I figured maybe other people who use my inserts like to use the middle section as well. So I actually added dot grid pattern to that middle piece of scrap paper. Um, on my dot grid inserts as well. So these are dot grid scrap paper. And then in my rings, I have three top tabs. I've got my monthly sections, so that's all in my calendar. And then I have six side tabs as well. So I'll just kind of go over them briefly. My first tab is my calendar section where I've got a year on two pages for reference. I've got all 12 months of the year in here. And within my monthly sections, I just have a monthly grid with dot grid on the, the back of it. And I use that dot grid for my to-do list for the month, for notes. I plan to put notes here on the back for January. And then I go right into my weeks. So to start off the year, I'm using a week on one page insert with notes paper on the other side. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but it does have dot grid on both the weekly section and the notes page. And I like that just because it lets me be real flexible with how I want to write. Um, you can kind of draw things out really easily or do different kinds of bullet points or whatever, and it's just a really flexible type of ruled paper. So I'm really enjoying that. And I have gone ahead and dated my inserts. So I dated all of the months for the whole year. So you can see here's June. Um, I've gone in and dated it and I've written in, in birthdays, important events and holidays for the whole year. I do go ahead and just write directly on the page when I'm pre-planning. I don't worry about messing it up. Uh, I do write in friction pen in my planner so I can always erase if I need to if something gets changed and also my my planner isn't super pretty anyways. It's mostly functional. I just use a highlighter as the month gets closer to kind of make things stand out and kind of to decorate a little bit, but mostly it's just for function. And so I've got my weekly section in here. I've only dated my weeks for the first month, and then I've dated the months for the whole year. Uh, one thing that you might notice that is different for me for 2021 
is I am actually doing Sunday start instead of Monday start for both my monthly calendars and my weekly calendars. Um, lately, I've just been finding it helpful to do a little bit more preparation for the week on Sunday. And so because I'm kind of doing a bunch of weekly prep things on Sunday, I like to go ahead and have that at the beginning of the week so I can check things off and feel accomplished as I begin my week in my planner. So that's what I've got going on for the first quarter is Sunday start weeks, Sunday start months. And I actually did Sunday start months for the whole year. So hopefully I'll like that. And then I've also got in this middle section, just um, an insert that I'm using as a daily page sometimes. This is also dot grid. It's really faint on this page for some reason in particular, so you might not be able to see, but it is just a two column dot grid insert, and I'm just using that to make a kind of a daily to-do list and write out my breakfast, lunch, and dinner plans for each day. Um, another thing that I use for daily is that little scrap piece. So here's, for instance, today, um, this is just one of those scrap pieces that I just punched and put in the rings. So I use a couple different types of pages for daily pages, and I usually just have them right in the middle of my week um, throughout the year. So that's what I've got going on so far. That's my calendar section, just all the months through the rest of the year. My second tab is my kind of habit tracker and also goals section. For me, those two things are really closely connected. So um, I just have a daily habit tracker, which has the days of the week up at the top. I'm doing Sunday through Saturday for that. And then I also have a weekly habit tracker. So for this one, you just have one page for the whole month. And I just wrote in the date of the Sunday that starts that week. And that way I can just check off that I got these things done once throughout the week. I've got those set up for January as well. I did go ahead and type up my habits for those because I didn't, didn't want to rewrite it multiple times. Um, I'm tracking a lot of things right now uh, just because it, it's helping me stay on track with the newborn baby and the toddler. And so um, that's kind of what I've got going on. I'm also planning to track my gratitude for January using this month on one page dot grid insert. So I'm going to do gratitude on the front and fitness on the back. So I'm just going to do kind of one line per day and write out something that I'm thankful for. And anytime that I do something fitness related, I'll write it here on the back. Um, these are kind of two things I want to focus on for January. So that's why I've got that tracking page in there. And then this is my weekly tracker for January. I've got another piece of scrap paper, scrapbook paper, and that helps me turn to my affirmations page. I have not written out my affirmations yet for 2021, but I'm working on them right now and plan to have them ready for January. Same thing for my goals. I'm gonna have those written out here. These are both just plain dot grid note pages. And then I did go ahead and write out kind of the different categories for my affirmations and goals. So these are just the things that I want to make sure I've got a goal for each one of these categories and I've got an affirmation for each one of these categories as well. Um, I've got more scrapbook paper. So this is vellum and scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. And that's just to separate that little section with goals. Um, and then I've got just a bunch of extra copies of my routines, my habit trackers, and my gratitude, or those, those month on one page inserts dot grid that I'm currently using for gratitude and fitness. My next section is my planner, or excuse me, my project planner. So this is where I've got pages for some projects that I'm gonna be working on. Right now I've just got two two pages set up. I've got my Shutterfly projects and then my house projects page. And these are, again, just a super simple insert. I use these for a lot of things in my planner. It is a two column insert, a small column on the left and a big on the right with dot grid. I've got a bunch of extra copies of those. 
My first side tab is my reference tab. So the first thing I've got in here is my password keeper, um, where I write my hints for my passwords. Of course, I've just got a blank one here to show you. And then I've got a tracker for thank you cards I need to write and gift ideas for next year. I've got a few pages here in the back that just have Fly Lady reference information. So the zones, the weekly plan, and the weekly home blessing. And then a few notes from the Fly Ladies book as well. My next tab is my meal planning tab. So I've got a monthly meal plan. This is just kind of um, something to help me think of ideas. Or if I don't have time to meal plan, I can just grab a week right off of here and use it as is. I don't have to even think through it. So I've got that for reference. I've got some kind of more long-term grocery lists here on those two column dot grid pages. And then I've got some notes about the Clean 15 in the back. Um, these are the pages that I typically use for meal planning. So I've got a week on, or two week on one page insert. And so I just write out the dinners that I plan to make for two weeks on one of these pages. And then you have basically a whole month on one insert front and back. So I like that insert for meal planning. My next section is my budget planner. So this is where I've got my budget tracker for January. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is just subtracting out our um, expenses. I'm just not doing it line by line, so I'm not writing in every single time I use a credit card. Um, I'm just going to, be, going to be checking in one, about three times a month and subtracting off the total that I've spent from each account when I check in. So that's why I only have a couple lines between the check-ins because um, we just have a couple of accounts that we use and I'm just gonna subtract out the amount each time there. And then I've got my monthly bills. Uh, I like to use this insert to track all 12 months of the year because it lets you see trends really nicely in and see whether your bills are staying the same or going up or down throughout each month. And then I've got several pages of blank dot grid paper here um, that have notes about budget information, but they're a little personal, so I just covered them up for the video. My next section is my appointments section. So I've got more of those two column dot grid pages. I have one for my medical appointments, one for dental appointments for me, one for hair appointments for me if I ever go to the salon again. <laughs> uh, one for medical appointments for my son, Nolan, for my other son, Wyatt, and then for my dog. So just a bunch of different appointments notes there. And I've got two more tabs. The next tab is for my kids. So I've got ideas for activities I wanna do with them. I've got things I need to track, um, so things I need to take photos of and notes about for Wyatt's baby book throughout the year. I've got some pages to keep track of any toys or activities that I want to purchase for my kids. Um, usually I kind of like to sit on those ideas for a while and make sure that they're not impulse buys. <laughs> so that's why I've got this page here. And then I've got a page to track what clothes I need to purchase um, in the future sizes, just so that if I happen to see something at a thrift store or on sale, I can see whether or not I really need it. Um, so that's what I've got. And then the last page is just tracking my son's language development. Uh, I also have one more section for work and that's just where I've got notes for my Etsy store and for YouTube videos. I'm sure I'll have a lot more as the year progresses, but I've just got a few things in there currently. Um, I have another sheet of vellum here in the back just to keep the pages all together. And then a couple of different file effects like envelope inserts. I've got a top loading envelope with stamps in it. Um, where this piece is, I typically have a credit card holder, and that's where I keep a few of my um, credit debit cards and also insurance cards. And then I have one more top-loading envelope with more of those pieces of scrapbook paper. 
um, so or scrap paper, the middle section when I print my inserts, and it has dot grid on it, and I just already punched these ones so that they're really easy to just pop right in to the rings. And then I've got a page lifter in the very back here, just to keep the pages from tucking under. In my back secretarial pocket, I have some thank you cards or blank no cards that I just like to have on hand. And that is it for my planner. I do use this back pocket also for coupons or um, a lot of times like when I go to a doctor appointment or something like that, if they give you a full sheet of paper, you can just fold it in half and stick it in the back pocket until you get home very easily. So that's the main thing that I use that for. So that is my planner to start off the new year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I mentioned, I do plan on showing you guys more detail about how I plan my week, how I plan my month, that kind of thing. Um, and I do have a lot of videos up on my channel already kind of showing my process. Um, and I also plan to do a video going into more detail about this habit tracking and um, kind of goal setting section. So stay tuned to the channel for more information on those. Thanks so much for watching today, and I hope you guys have a very happy holidays and new year. Bye.